We reported today the first analysis of Medicare Part D claims for older adults who are undergoing medical treatment for overactive bladder. What we did was we identified a group of people who had an outpatient visit for overactive bladder who then got a medication and we looked at which among the seven agents that are available today did they get and then what happened after that. What we did was we identified people who had either first generation agents which were approved by the FDA before 2000 and are generally less expensive and then another group of people who had a second generation which were approved after 2000 and are generally more expensive. And then we compared characteristics of who got what medication. One of the most interesting findings of our study was that specialists were much more likely than primary care physicians to prescribe a second generation or more expensive agent. And we controlled for the sex of the patient, the race of the patient, and other comorbid medical conditions. And even after controlling that, for example, urologists were 49% more likely to prescribe a second generation agent. Gynecologists who also frequently treat this condition were about 30% more likely than primary care physicians to prescribe one of these newer agents. So one of the main take home lessons from our study is that specialists are much more likely to prescribe a newer agent and potentially more costly agent than primary care doctors. A couple of the other noteworthy findings from our study were that females were more likely to get newer agents and people who are African American or people who are also eligible for Medicaid and therefore have a little bit lower socioeconomic status, those were people were actually less likely to get newer agents. One of the most important clinical findings was that patients who have dementia or a diagnosis of dementia were more likely to get newer agents. And that's important because it's, there's some belief and limited evidence that these newer agents may have less neurocognitive side effects. I think really the take home message is that patients and doctors should really think carefully about which medications they choose and balance really the benefits of the medication, the side effects, and the cost when making decisions about where they start for treating overactive bladder.